Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming. Woo! And welcome back to our playthrough of Ultima 1. In our last episode, we became a space ace. You can see there's our space shuttle off to the side, and now it's time to continue our adventure. We should have two more lords to visit, and two more quests to complete. So, let us hop into our air car. That's the wrong button again. And we are going to head south. Uh, nope. We are going to head east. Had to remember my directions. Because we need to get to the southeastern continent. Right now we're on the southwestern one. So let's get heading over. Skim across the ocean here. Till we hit a continent. This looks an awful lot like a continent, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. We need to go up around this unfortunately shaped peninsula. There we go. Because over this way, we should find another castle. There it is. We are now in the... Where are we? We'll, we'll kill you guys. We'll be back to kill you all in a minute. You can all just wait there. We are in the lands of danger and despair. All right, and whose castle? This is the White Dragon's castle. Go ahead and head on in. Oh, it's the cool-looking castle. Let's head on over. Oh, the Jester has the key. We'll talk about that in a minute. Talk to this king and service. Go forth and find the Tower of Knowledge. Do not return until thy quest is done. All right, we can do that. That's just another signpost we need to find. Out of the way, Jester. Oh, just you wait. And we're going to head to... Oh, let's get on our... There we go. We're going to head north here. Oh, look at these guys. Let's shoot them with our lasers. Now that we remembered which button is the shoot lasers button. It helps us quite a bit. Come on. Come on. There we go. We need to head north a little bit because we are looking. There it is for the castle Shimino. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll land here. We're gonna have to, what is, is that a bear? That is a bear. Or it was a bear, actually. All right. Head into this castle. That jester has the key. Good to know. Gonna head in here, and we are going to transact with the king. We offer service. Now go and kill a Balron. Do not return until thy quest is done. Yes, Shimino. We shall do your quest and kill a Balron. Ooh, that is Shimino, right? Yep, that's Shimino. All right. So we need to find the Tower of Wisdom, and we need to kill a Balron. Well, let's go find the Tower of Wisdom first, because that's going to be pretty easy. Basically, we're going to head north. This is the eastern signpost. So from here, if we head to the west, we should bump directly into the Grave of Lost Souls. If you remember from our, our very first quest from our buddy Lord British... And from here, I believe it is a hop, skip, and a jump up to the Pillar of Argonauts. Remember, that's where we got all our sweet weapons. So let's head up north. Here we go. There's the Pillar of Osmond Deus. Never going to say his name right. Past the Land of Feudal Lords. There's the Pillar of the Argonauts. So, kind of north of this should be a little outcropping from the, there we go, Land of Feudal Lords, and we're going to head directly to the west from here. Oh, oh, yes, there it is. I think that's it, folks. Let's check out this signpost, shall we? Terra Scientia Magna Pore. The Tower of Knowledge, a quest has been completed. Thou dost gain two intelligence. So, same as the other signposts, we could come back here and build up our intelligence. I don't think we need to do that. 
in order to get past the game where we want to go. Oh, we need to kill that nest creature, though. That was an easy 30 gold. Oh. Oh, come on. Thank you. Wasting our wasting our hit points because we're pushing pushing buttons we shouldn't be pushing. Oh, come on, dragon turtle. There we go. Oh, seriously. How was there nothing in the ocean attacking us all the way down? The minute we got coming back home, everybody wants a piece of this. It's embarrassing and sad. Uh, all right. Where am I other than lost? I think... Okay, yes. I know where I am. We need to go to the east a bit. And then from here, straight south, we should bump up against the Pillar of Osmondeus again. There it is. We got another stupid dragon turtle. Fire our lasers at it. There we go. Go down here past the Grave of Lost Souls. And now we're back where we can see the continent. Oh, there's a hidden archer. Hidden archer, take that. Take lasers to the face. Can't hide from lasers. Alright. Uh, from here, I'm going to kind of zip around a bit. Because we need to get on the other side of this forest. We are going to buzz past uh, Shimino's castle here. And we are going to head down back to White Dragon's castle just so we can complete this crest real quickly. So let's jump in here. Enter. And let's talk to... There we go. Talk to the king. Ah, Grugtar, thou hast completed thy quest. For this, I will give thee five points of strength. Thank you very much. How are we getting the strength from him? I mean, does he... I can only think of gruesome H.R. Geiger ways. Like, does he rip the, the flesh from his own skin and, and stick the muscles on us or something? Think about that. Think about that. All right. This means we still have to kill a Balrom, people. We got demons to kill. So let's head into here. Uh, I don't even know what, what cave this is, but we're going to use it. Uh, let's see. Let us enter. This is the Dungeon of Morbid Adventure. That's pretty great. How many ladder ups and downs do we have? Oh, we have a ton. We're good. So let's go ahead and ready a spell, ready our ladder down, and we need to go down to levels 8 and 9 of this dungeon. Really? Later, sucker! That ranger popped out of nowhere and tried to stop us. And there's a gelatinous cube. This dungeon is full of stuff. We're just going to keep going down. Hey, look, there's a... Uh, a carrion crawler. The very first thing we had to kill in the dungeon. Oh, some wandering eyes. Uh, let's take care of that. And let's go down one more level. Alright. We see a demon. Alright, let's shoot the demon with our blaster. And there's a mind whipper. Look at that though, it's got tentacles on the front. That has got to be a mind flayer. Oh, beautiful. Alright. Now it's a matter of finding a Balron, I guess. So, let's open this coffin. No Balron in it. Let's open this coffin. No Balron. Here, Balron. Here, Balron, Balron, Balron. We wish to fight you. Why was the path blocked? That was weird. Come on, there's got to be one in here. There has got to be a Balron somewhere in this dungeon. Uh, what's, let's open this chest. What do we got? Two silver? Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Uh, oh, we went too far. 
Here, Mighty Ball Run. Oh, weird. That just opens into a little tiny room. 3D dungeon in it all up. This is the smallest dungeon floor I've ever seen. Unless... Yeah. Like, that's just one tiny little room. Weird. Uh, anything down here? Come on, ball run. I wonder if I go up one, does that respawn creatures on the floor so that we can get attacked? I think it might. Let's, uh, I have no basis for that, but... Hey! On level 10, we found one. And he hit us for 236 damage. Whoa! Look at that dude. Wow. That is cool. Look at those wings. Ah. Oh. Well, guess what, buddy? We have a blaster. Boom! We hit the ball run for 121 damage. Take it again. Mmm! We killed the ball run, folks. Beautiful. Let's get out of here. Ready some spells. Ready our ladder up spell. We have seen enough of this dungeon. Let's get... Whoa, something. There was a lich behind us there. Is the lich... Oh no. There's a gremlin. The gremlin just stole... 5,000 food in one hit. The dumbest enemy ever. Think about that. 5,000 food. I don't know what that is. What is that? A viper? Ugh. Think about that. If you were running through this dungeon normally, not using these spells to go up and down, and you fought that gremlin, and you had prepped yourself with all that food to fight to get through that dungeon, and he hits you for that, you would be furious. I'd be furious. I'm furious now. We don't even need that much food, I think, to beat the game. And I'm furious. Oh. Ridiculous. Alright, let's get away from this dumb, dumb place. Uh, let's actually... Nope, forget it. We're good. Head back here to the Castle Shimino. Exit our craft. Really? Take Blaster to Face Thief. Let's save real quick. Enter this castle, shall we? He's got the key! Alright. Talk to the king. Al Grugtar, thou hast completed thy quest. For this, I shall tell thee to take nine items from my storeroom. But only nine. The king also gives thee a white gem. Awesome! So that gives us... A white gem. Is this the storeroom down here? Um, what happens if I hit get? Oh, okay. So, food, weapons, armor. Okay, so we could come down here. We can take nine items. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And we had one from where we got that mace. A little extra food. But now, we have got all four gems. I believe. Let's double check our inventory. We have the red gem, the green gem, the blue gem, and the white gem. And we know that a princess will help a space ace to get to a time machine. There's only one thing left to do, folks, and that is we need to save a princess. So, Shimino... I know that you just helped us, but we see a princess who is currently trapped in your prison, sir. So I'm afraid that your jester, who so kindly has continued to shout out. Shout it again for us one more time, buddy. Come on. Come on, say it. Can I just talk to this guy? Oh, he is not here. Come on, talk for us. Talk for us, Jester. Ah, 
Guido the Jester sings I've Got the Key. Well, Guido, I've got a blaster. There we go. We killed the Jester. Uh, we have found a key. So we need to go to that prison door. And we need to save the princess. Oh, we're going to be... Uh, I don't know how tough these guards are. Uh, we are going to have to kill one. Oh, thank goodness we have all, these, all this health. Okay, come on, guards. Come on, die, guard. Are the guards not... Okay, the guards are killable. Let's take care of this guy. Thank goodness for all the health we have. All right. Princess, I'm here. Thou hast not the correct key. What? Oh, it's random? Are you joking, game? Seriously. Get out of the way, guard. Get out of the way. All you're doing is prolonging this. Thank you. It's random. It's bloody freaking random. Alright, we found a key. Let's do this again. Come on. Come on, guard. Die. Alright, this better be the right key. Oh, you are... S you, you... And now these guys are all piled up on us. Come on. We are going to spend an insane amount of hit points apparently fighting these guards. Oh, maybe if we uh, had our better armor on, we might be doing better. I mean, seriously? Guard, get away. All right, here we go again. It's nice that they don't remember, at least. At least they don't remember that we were here and that we did these things. Come on, Jester. I don't... Okay, whatever. I'm not... I have lost my patience for thee. All right, guard. Blaster to the face. Die, guard. I said die, guard. I said die, guard. Whew. All right, come on. Come on. <gasps> okay. We got the right key. We got the door unlocked. We have a princess. Now we need to get out. Let's kill these last couple guards. Princess, stay behind me. Stay behind me, your royalty. Your highness. Maybe she's a Druish princess. If you've seen Spaceballs, space balls, come on. Everyone has. Alright, come on, we're still attacking this guard. He is refusing to die. Come on, with the blaster. Woo, we got him. Alright. I think that means... Yes, we have one more guard to kill. Princess, stay back. Oh no. Can I just... Princess, run for it! Woo! Thou hast saved the princess, Diane. She giveth thee 500 hit points, pence, and experience points. And she told us there... Oh, did she tell us there was a time machine? Because we were a space ace. I was reading that. Seriously, this game needs longer messages. Ooh, hold on, folks. I'm going to review the tape. One moment. All right, folks. One of the nice things is, because I'm recording, I could go back and I can see that she actually told us there is a time machine far to the northwest. So let's get in our air car. Ooh, thank goodness. That was going to be frustrating if we weren't able to get that. 
Oh. Let's get out of our air car. Oh, wait. We have to fly around this forest. So there should be a time machine far to the northwest somewhere. We're looking for a time machine. Where is a time machine? Far to the northwest. Well, I'm about as far northwest as you can get on this continent. I mean... Oh, look! <gasps> Folks! It's a time machine. Folks? We have a time machine. We have all the gems we need from saving, and we've saved the princess, so we can now use this time traveling device. On the next episode, I think we will be fighting Mondane and destroying him once and for all. We'll be doing that on the next episode of Gaming with Grub, folks. I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends, and as always, we hope to see you soon.